The SOHE Satellite Launch Facility is the only known permanent long-range ballistic missile launch facility as well as civilian space launch facility in North Korea. It's in the northwest coast of the country and construction started right about 2000. For decades, North Korea has been trying to put civilian payloads into orbit using rockets launched from the SOHE Satellite Launch Facility. Satellite launch vehicles, the technology for them is almost identical to some ICBMs. This technology is banned by existing UN Security Council resolutions against North Korea. In 2018, the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un agreed to dismantle portions of the SOHE satellite launching facility, but this dismantlement stopped after two months. In March 2022, Kim Jong-un made a visit to the facility and announced a major modernization. It would involve new launch facilities, engine test facilities, and we gradually saw some really significant development. Just outside the entrance, they built a rail-served warehouse facility, which allows supplies to come into the area and be unloaded all undercover. Then, moving further south, they started construction of what appears to be a tunnel. It's the largest project we've seen being built at Sohei to date. The tunnel really isn't needed in this area. An underground facility would serve to protect the facility or critical components of the facility from air attack in a future hostile environment. As we move further south, we saw the reconstruction of the main launch pad from which they have launched SLVs, satellite launch vehicles. They built two large water tanks that would gravity feed down to the launch pad to allow for the launching of a larger, more powerful SLV which produces a great deal more heat and flame. As we move further south and east, we come to the vertical engine test stand. The SLV takes off in a vertical position. Here, they've conducted tests of new SLV engines and engines used in ballistic missiles. Construction continued, and as we watched, they constructed a horizontal solid fuel rocket engine test stand. In December of 2022, North Korea tested a solid rocket fuel engine at this facility. Solid fuel propellant makes North Korea's ballistic missiles more survivable and therefore harder for the United States to preempt if we thought they were launching an attack on us. Most recently, we noticed additional excavation from the horizontal rocket engine test stand up along the south side of a ridge. There's no real reason to do this unless you're going to build an observation point or if you're going to build another horizontal solid fuel rocket engine test stand. Any activity at SOHE must be closely monitored. They are largely for the purpose of developing long-range ballistic missile technology that is threatening to the United States. 